What is good with the YouTube fight fans all over the world? It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir, I said it, Real Talk Boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people yet. Again, I want to give my final thoughts before the unification fight between the heavyweights, Joshua and Usyk. A lot of belts on the line. Um, the winner of this fight, you know, especially Usyk, he's got everything to win, man, nothing to lose. Um, has a lot, man, to gain, stands a lot to gain. Usyk stands a lot to gain. Joshua has everything to lose. Um, and I'm doing this final thoughts on this fight, my final prediction for a reason. And that reason is because I had a conversation, man, and a respectful debate with my homeboy, Heaven Williams, a young man that I respect. Um, his opinion, I respect. Everybody has an opinion. Um, but his, I do respect. And it's because he brings a lot of common sense, reality, and um, just a different thought process to the table when we're, you know, analyzing and talking about a certain match, fighters, and matchups. He seems to think that Uzik is going to shock the world. He feels that Uzik is going to do enough down the stretch to win by a split decision. Heaven, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you said split decision. And um, I have something a little bit different. So judging by what he said and the conversation really made me think. Um, so let's just talk about both fighters. You have Usyk. Uh, who is the boxer. I think he's a slightly better boxer than AJ. If not, a lot more of a better boxer than AJ. Some say some would say he's a lot better boxer than AJ. I think he's a little bit better boxer than AJ. Um, but when people talk about Uzik, some of the times they're bringing what he accomplished in the cruiserweight division, which that's what I don't. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he was undisputed in the cruiserweight division. That's freaking awesome. That's 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 a that's a feat that I don't know hardly anybody can achieve in the world. So, uh, you know, I commend him for that. But we're talking about a totally different division. We're talking about the big boys. Now, size does not matter all the time. Sometimes, and I think depending on who Uzik fights in the heavyweight division will be um, the factor in whether he will win or not. Now, I stated before, top three, top five, top three heavyweights um, would, would beat him, you know. And, and that's just my opinion, my personal opinion. And I could be wrong, but that's how I feel. And he's fighting the number one heavyweight unified champion tonight. Now, let's talk about the weigh-in. Now, Uzik weighed in, I think, the heaviest of his career at 221 pounds. And I think that there's a reason for that. And Joshua came in at 240, a couple of pounds over what he weighed against the rematch with Andy Ruiz. And I think that there's a reason for that also. Now, Uzi, I believe, has the more experience. He has more experience than Joshua. Um, I think he may even have a better IQ, ring IQ, than Joshua. Um, I feel that Uzik is not a one-punch knockout artist, even though he has some nasty knockouts. Look at Tony Bellew. <laughs> but that was cruiserweight, not heavyweight. But he's not really known for power punching. So I'm thinking going into this fight for Usyk, like a lot of other people are thinking, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a numbers guy. He's got to win on points. Now, because everybody's thinking that, he might come in and do totally opposite. He might come in and just try to run through Anthony Joshua, just bum rush him. I mean, I don't know how good of an idea that is, but you just never know. Um, so I'm thinking the reason why Usyk is coming in the heaviest of, of his career is because he knows that Joshua is going to try to maul him, going to try to keep the fight in close, up close and personal, much like Derek Chisora did. And he was actually winning when he was doing so before he gassed out. Um because when I watched that fight, Uzik didn't have any answer early on. I mean, he was moving. He was getting out of the way of a lot of punches, but there was really no 
adjustment to the pressure. It was like, I'm just waiting for him to tire down so I can fight off the back foot, which I am known and totally capable of doing. Boxing, as soon as the big guy slows down, I'm going to box his lips off. And that's what he did against Chisora. Um, I believe he knows that the reason why, and I feel the reason why Anthony Joshua came in a little heavier than, you know, um, in his fight against uh, Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, is because he plans to do what Derek Chisora tried to do, which is to keep it close, pressure him, put the heat on him, turn that stove on in the kitchen, and try to make it too hot for him to get out, um, to stay in, excuse me. Um, because I think that's what Anthony Joshua is going to do, but I think he's going to do it in a more effective way than Chisora. Now, I stated that Uzik is the better boxer, in my opinion, slightly. Some say better. Um, but I think that Joshua's, I think he's more athletic than Usyk. So the game plans are two different game plans from what I can see. Uzik wants to win on points and what she could possibly do if the fight goes 12 rounds, but is Joshua going to be in good enough shape to continue to apply that pressure Pressure like Chisora tried to do but couldn't because he ran out of gas? Um, so if the fight ends early, I do believe it's going to be by a, uh, a TKO stoppage or a knockout from Joshua. And if it goes the distance, the better the fight will be for Uzik because he can pile up those points. Now, my man Heaven said he thinks that Uzik is going to win by split decision. I don't think there's no way on God Green's earth that he can win a split decision. You know why? Because Anthony Joshua is the unified heavyweight champion. He's beloved by millions, including myself. And I like Uzik too. Uzik too. Uzik doesn't strike me as a person who talks crap, who tries to start crap, who's um, arrogant or a, 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 you know a crap talker. I mean, if he won those belts, I would be fine with that. I think he would be, um, he would represent those belts well, just like Anthony does. But, um, I just feel like Anthony is, is, is just big enough, strong enough, athletic enough, and hopefully in shape enough. Cause I see that's where my mind starts to shift. Will he be in good enough shape? Because we know Uzi can go 12 and we know Joshua can go 12 also, but. If you remember when he fought Ruiz, Andy, that is, once he started getting behind, he kind of fell back. Um, he kind of gave up. Now, I don't think that that's the Anthony Joshua that we're going to be seeing tonight. I believe that he nipped that in the bud when he rematched Andy Ruiz. Um, he proved that once a quitter, not always a quitter. Um, rare, but factual. Uh, I quit once in the ring and never quit again after that. So it's possible, you know, I'm not saying I'm this dude on this huge platform, but you know, Hey man, I'm a human being. And like a lot of human beings in life, they quit and decided not to quit again. You know what I'm saying? So, and not just in fighting, I'm talking about life in general. So I'm hoping that doesn't rear its ugly head, which I don't think it will, but you just never know. But as far as Uzik winning a close split decision, I don't think the judges are going to let that happen. I don't. I mean, if it goes to the scorecards and it's rem and if it's anywhere remotely to being close, they're not going to give that Uzik that win, I don't believe. So he's going to have to win every freaking round. You know what I'm saying? A majority of the rounds in, in, in grand fashion. But the longer the fight goes, I believe the better it would fare Uzik. But I think, I think, my opinion, Joshua is going to be in good enough shape to maintain that pressure that he's going to have to put on Uzik in order to win that fight because it's going to take pressure. It's going to take Joshua being in Uzik's chest. You're going to have to um, nullify him from moving. If he can keep Uzik from moving, then he'll win the fight easy. But if he allows Uzik to move and think and fight off the back foot, it's going to be a hard fight for Joshua to win. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm picking Joshua to win this, y'all. I'm saying 8th, 9th, 10th, TKO, possibly knockout, Anthony Joshua. But these are heavyweights, man. Anything could happen. And I, I'm not sleeping on Uzik. I mean, definitely an upset could happen. 
And if it does, I'm not going to be surprised or upset about it because I like both fighters. You know, I'm a huge Anthony Joshua fan. Don't know much about Uzik, but he seems like a respectful, a respectable dude. He's not coming in talking trash. He has an opportunity. Is he going to take it and run with it? Or is he going to let it slip right through his fingers? We'll find out tonight. I don't think I'm going to be doing a live stream. But there will definitely be an immediate post-fight reaction or possibly a post-fight live stream reaction. Um, but nevertheless, man, what do you guys think about this fight coming up tonight? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all. Fear none. God bless. The next time Real Talk Boxing, we up and we out of here, baby.